Hey guys, all right, it is time for that recipe that I promised during, it was either the meal planning video or the grocery haul video. Super simple, salsa chicken. We're gonna keep it nice and easy today. This is a crock pot recipe. This can easily be made in the Instant Pot in a fraction of the time if you wanna do it that route. This is something I'm gonna be using my Instant Pots for our whole chickens later today that we make every week. So I'm gonna make this one in the crock pot. I already went ahead and I put the raw chicken breasts in there now. There are eight of them in there. I will show you that here in just a second. Now, typically I will actually make this with frozen chicken breasts. Uh, if you do that, you're gonna obviously cook it a little bit longer. Uh, it works great as the chicken uh, thaws and cooks in there. It releases its own juices, keeps everything just really good. The chicken doesn't dry out that way, so it's good. Uh, the chicken that I used, since it's raw, uh, we get the farmer's market from Sam's Club, and I just dumped the chicken breast and the juice that was in the packages in there with it. So let me show you what all I got. Excuse the messes. It's kind of a hectic homeschooling day today, and there's a few, well, I didn't clean first. Let's just put it that way. That is my life, getting lunch made. I've got other ones eating at the table right now. So let me show you what I've got in the crock pot. Okay, as I said, there are eight raw chicken breasts in there dumped straight in with the juice that was in the package with them. I've just got, I not plugged my crock pot in yet. And then I have got a large jar of paste chunky salsa. I'm gonna go ahead and dump that in. This is a two ingredient recipe. So let me dump that in and then I'll show you how long I'm gonna cook it for. Okay. So I am literally just going to take this jar of salsa and pour it, covering that chicken. As this heats up and cooks, that salsa is gonna go down around everything. Try to get everything out of that jar that I can. That's pretty good. Okay, then from here, it is already 11.30 now. We wanna have this ready for supper, somewhere between five and six tonight. Since those chicken breasts are raw, we can go ahead and we can cook this on low. So I'm gonna turn this on. No, I'm not. I'm gonna hit mode. Why is my crock pot not working? Okay, I don't know what that was about, but there we go. Okay, turn this on. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna keep it on low. The default on my crock pot is eight hours for low. I am gonna bump this down to five hours. That will put us at 4.30. Um, at that point, if it, well, probably a little bit before then, I'll check it, and if it does not seem thoroughly cooked, I'm gonna bump that up to high for the last hour or so, and then in there somewhere, I will be able to shred this. But I'm gonna go ahead and let this start cooking. Let me grab my lid here. Okay. Let's go ahead and with the magic of this video, see what it looks like in a couple hours. And through the magic of video editing, it has been two hours. And you can see in here that the salsa is starting to creep down in there and you can see the chicken is turning white. The juice is thick in there is mixing with the salsa liquid. So we're coming along. This is gonna be good. Okay, more video magic. It has officially been the five hour mark. We have switched to keep warm, which is what my crock pot automatically does when it hits that time. All right, see all the liquid in there? Once this chicken is shredded, most of that is going to be absorbed. So you can see that this has come through. Now look at how that chicken is just coming apart there. That's what we wanna see. But what I'm gonna do though, is pull some of this up. I wanna see what's in the middle and make sure that that is cooked fully. And if it's gonna fall apart just as much, which I guess I wasn't even showing you there as I was pulling it apart. So this one's just falling apart, which is perfect. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, see that? We are fully cooked. This is perfect. So now what I'm gonna do is I've got my little fork here that I use. I also have my handy dandy meat chopper. One of my absolute favorite things from Pampered Chef, this bad boy. I, I could use two forks and just get in there and shred everything that way, but why when I can just press and twist? It, it tears it all apart. 
cuts them into smaller pieces um, because the end is slightly angled. You want yogurt? Yeah. Mommy's making chicken for supper. Yeah, yogurt. We'll see. Okay. You can have some yogurt with supper. Okay. All right. I'm gonna finish chopping this, and then I'll show you the after product. All right. I just finished using my meat chopper there, and look at all of that beautifully shredded chicken. Um, yeah, there's still a couple slightly smaller chunks in here. That is quite all right. For one, they're going to kind of fall apart as I'm doing this. Um, I can also bring that chopper back through again, too. So then what we'll do is we'll either use this uh, large fork to dish it up or a slotted spoon. And then we are going to put these in tacos with whatever toppings we want. So yes, that is more ingredients. But uh, this itself is just a jar of salsa and chicken breasts. That is how simple it is. This is going to, I mean, considering a scoop about this size will be enough for one taco. There is so much in here that there's going to be leftovers after tonight. And I'm going to let this sit on warm for probably, I don't know, another half hour or so. Uh, the chicken will continue to absorb some of those juices. And then, like I said, we'll use the slotted spoon or this fork to drain off some of the liquid. So I am going to let this sit and marinate just a little bit longer. Because um, the other thing is once you've shredded it, all that juice that was in there, that's soaking into all the meat now so it can pick up that salsa flavor. So there it is. Now I'm going to go prep the rest of the taco fixings that everybody likes. We like some shredded cheese, some sour cream. Um, I did not get the stuff to make guacamole, though that would have been a hit. Uh, taco shells and, well, just whatever else we decide to put in them. Well, so there you go. That was the salsa chicken. Uh, it's pretty short and sweet. It's two ingredients. I mean, there's not much more to it. I know I already said that. We use the Pace uh, mild salsa. You can use whatever brand, whatever level of heat, any of that. Use homemade if you've got it. That would be amazing. Uh, the chicken breast, use as many as you want. Um, obviously, the you want to keep the chicken to salsa ratio pretty good. Otherwise, you're going to end up either very liquidy or not enough. I suppose if you use a lot of chicken and just a tiny jar of salsa. Uh, but that's pretty much the basics. And then everything else is up to you. Whatever you want to add to it. You want to do sour cream, shredded cheese. Those are our go-tos. Like I said, some guacamole is an option. And I've got a three-year-old who's wrestling with his sister over a banana. So I'm going to wrap this up and say that I hope that you are having a blessed day. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss everything coming up next. And I'll see you in the next one.